God lives and works today. Perhaps you have already experienced His reality at times in your life, but now you are mourning the death of someone you love, and the waves of sorrow almost seem to drown you. Does everything seem meaningless? Listen to the following meditation by Basilea Schlink called Last Will and Testament. Someone you love very much has died suddenly. And perhaps your greatest grief is that he had no opportunity to speak any last words, to leave behind a will or a testament. However, you can know about one very definite request your loved one will make now. He who has left you has now been placed in the light of eternity. Now he sees more clearly than we who have been left behind what is most important. He sees how the harvest follows the planting and therefore the importance of how we've lived here on earth. He knows how important it is to believe in and follow Jesus, to take up our crosses, to love Jesus and the Heavenly Father, and to free ourselves from earthly ties. He knows how decisive it is whether or not we live according to the Ten Commandments, and to what degree we fought against and overcome our sins through faith in the power of Jesus. Yes, our dear one recognizes clearly the eternal consequences of our life here on earth. How can we show the greatest love to him who has passed away? By doing that which we know is most important to him now. Because he knows that we still have a today here on earth, he would ask us in a final will and testament, Take God's word seriously. Hate sin. Love God. Love your neighbor. Sacrifice gladly and strive towards the eternal goal so that you will attain it. Look at the things in the right perspective, recognizing what's most important, eternity. Heaven's glory bright, such wondrous holy light, all sorrow, pain, and woe, at sight of you must go. Yes. He who has died wants to draw us to heaven. He's gone on before us, and soon we will all follow him. God has let him be a sign for us, to remind us that we too will one day be called away, so that we will begin to take on a different attitude towards eternity. He wants us to strive for that which is above, and no longer for those things that have seemed so important to us here on earth. Through the death of our loved one, God wants to bring us a great blessing. He wants to help free us from earthly ties and bind us to heaven. He wants us to hurry towards the city of God and to reveal to us now the love of Jesus which is awaiting us there. Haste, my soul, risk no delay. Brighter day is fast approaching. Haste, it's time all else to leave. Time to been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.